A very warm welcome to the Gallagher Stadium in the sunshine. It's the Kent FA Junior Cup B final. Red Velvet A taking on Littleport. Here's the Red Velvet lineup and substitutes. Charlie East, the manager, assistant manager Aaron Firth, George Power, Harry Thompson, and Ricky Ward are the coaches. What about their opponents, Littleborn, in the yellow? Here's their lineup and substitutes. Jamie Bounds, their manager, Chris Luma, the assistant manager, and Liam Green is the coach. Referee today, Piotr Zakvisha, Andy King, and Kieran Cox, the assistants, and Peter Lane, the fourth official. And ball over the top and into the channel. It goes, Jack Carthy. He's got a run on goal, he's got plenty to do. Oh, what a finish that is from Jack Carthy. Brilliant finish with the outside of the right boot into the top corner. He could not have hit it better. And he's off to celebrate. And Red Velvet have the lead in the first half. What about this for a finish? The angle's not on his side. He's barely got anything to aim for. But that is perfection. And Red Velvet have the lead. No wonder he wheels off to celebrate. No one can catch him. It's a quite brilliant finish. Into the breakaway here. Oh, that's a lovely through ball. Lovely Luma, little chip. It's 1-0. That's a brilliant goal on the counter-attack. And Robbie Luma with the lob over the goalkeeper was exquisite. It was perfect. This cup final has had two really good goals so far. One for either side. And for all their dominance for their outs, Red Velvet have got to dust themselves down and get going again now because Littlebourne are back on level terms. <laughs> Celebrating the players and the crowd. Really good crowd inside the stadium in the sunshine. And the ball comes across, could have gone absolutely anywhere, looked like a push. Referee was in the perfect position and Red Velvet have a penalty and maybe a chance here to settle this final. Oh, it's off the post. And then tipped over brilliantly by Cheeseman. Well, it's not to be for Akers, who misses from the spot. And there is a final whistle, an extra time required. And with the sun shining and sapping some energy out of these players. It's going to need somebody to dig deep to resolve this final. And forward by Markley. And square by Akers. And the shot coming in, dipping over the top of the crossbar. And there's going to be some late drama and there's going to be some penalties as that shot is scuffed over the top. He's had a look at his watch. And, well, players from both teams slumped to the floor. They've given it their all. And now penalties will decide who wins the silverware. Up first, Dan TV. And that's a good penalty into the corner. Daniel Wells. And the captain goes for the save corner as TV. And makes it one up. Two good penalties so far. Good shot. 2-1. That corner is popular at the moment. Good finish by Scott Gushot. And he congratulates. Spurs on. He's going for the jet ranking. Chance for 2-2. Two -two. That is a brilliant penalty. Lawford. Into the top corner. Scott Lawford. 2-2. Two -two. That's another good penalty. This time, Carthy into the corner. Jack Carthy scored the opener in normal time. And gives his side advantage in the spot kicks. Now Foster. Good save by Ranky. Luke Foster has his penalty stopped by the goalkeeper. This is Dolby. Oh, another save. This time, Cheeseman goes down and blocks. And if that goes in, it's a real advantage to Red Velvet. Chance here for Fitchy to level things off and a quite brilliant penalty into the corner. Goalkeeper guessed right, but he couldn't reach it. Karen, oh, he's missed. 
The rebound won't count. And it's advantage Little Vaughan. Jack Parr could put his side to within one kick of the ball from victory. Oh, he's missed. He's hit the post. And parity once again is restored. Mark Lee, that's cool. Keeper went one way, he went the other. And he celebrates. They have to score here, little boy. The pressure is all on Josh Baker. Who steps up and it's saved by Jack Rankin. And Red Velvet win the cup. And they celebrate their players and their supporters coming on the pitch too. It's been a pulsating cup tie that has required extra time and penalties. Out of the match, Jack Carthy. His goal in the first half got Red Velvet after the best possible start. But Littlebourne fought all the way and absorbed plenty of pressure. He really gave Red Velvet a game. And Red Velvet come up for their winners' medals. and the celebrating is just about to begin Sam Hawkins the captain lifts the trophy congratulations Red Velvet they are the Kent Football Association Junior Cup B winners 2018-2019 season